Okay, so this poem is called Queen. Born into a beautiful family, grown with a father whose presence lacked in times of need, touched by an older boy when she was only eight. Other boys came and went, bullies grew in her shadows from left and right, giving no mercies. Rumors spread like butter on warm toast, regret for the loss of a woman she loved but never made time for. A first love that ended in force, yelling, fast driving, and lies, she eventually told him. Now with a non-virgin body, from a guy who only invited her to play games yet had other intentions. A true friendship ripped at the seams, more blood racing on her body as the word whore was carved into her skin. Suicidal thoughts and attempts drives to the mental hospital more than once. An autoimmune disease grew within her, making her spiritually strong and emotionally weak. Rumors began as steroids were forced into her so she could live. Weight gain and the word cow became her. More men wanted inside her when she confessed her virginless body. More sex, less love, more abuse, less strength. Hands wrapped around her neck, bruises from one who'd known what he was doing. Lies to her mother for fear. I got the bruise from my nephew or a random injury. Pain grew between her thighs while sweat dropped in her eyes. Tears would shed when she was alone so no one could see. Drugs were forced so sex became more willing. Fake, te fake tears fell down their cheeks, pushing, yelling, cursing as she tried to leave. All factors of her abuse. Painful sleepless nights continued to follow until the day she came and met him. The man whom had had her heart all along. As friendship grew with him, love sparkled inside her. He knew her secrets, he knew her inside out, and she enjoyed learning about the man who simply added her on a nap called Snapchat. A man who treats her like a queen, this at first admittedly scared her because she had never been treated like so. A man who climbed the top of the tree just to be with her. Tragedy struck when her mother convinced herself that she wasn't a good enough person to live, yet selfishness was never in her own vocabulary. Two hands full of Benadryl coursed through her mother's veins, but she survived, yet incredibly fragile. Her love for the man continued to blue. Bloom. Dates and cuddles filled up their days. He took her to the lake they were quite familiar with, got on his knees and committed his life and heart to her. She's young but so happy. True marriage shall not come anytime soon, but they wanted to commit now. But his father will never know. He could never tell his father that he was engaged to the woman he loved. Taken by suicide, his father lies in ashes and shall never see his children grow up anymore. His eyes fill with tears off and on, but strength takes over him, and his fiancée does what she can. As for her, she is healthy, carving free, no more, no more abuse, happy yet very careful. More strength, less tears in her, and so much love for the man who finally treats her like a queen. Yeah.